Hello, collective, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. Ooh, for <laughs> this came out current status available. I feel like, um, yeah, and here on the bottom of the deck, you don't want any part of this person. I feel like you can sense somebody coming towards you, divine feminine energy. Um, yeah, but I feel like, yeah, this is something that you're discarding. This is, it's going quick already. A lot of cards are coming out, guys. Um, this reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with everyone, okay? Just take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm, I'm looking into the um, current energy, what's going on behind the scenes, and all of a sudden the cards are just jumping out. Um, thank you everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you. Um, okay, so yeah, I feel like there's a masculine energy who's just taken way too long. I feel like they ran out of time, tick tock, um, and it's still, even though they're, they're currently single, it says current status single, it's still projected days, weeks, or months before this person comes towards you um, with an apology or um, wanting to make things right, okay? I feel like you're tossing this. You know it's going to take a while because this person is just starting to put the work in and you are way ahead of them on your spiritual journey, okay? You know your worth. You know your value. Um, yeah. Yeah. I feel like you're just done with this. You're tired of being forbidden love. You can feel this masculine wanting to come towards you. I feel like you can pick up on that, okay, with your intuition, like you can feel it. Um, hold on one moment. Okay, darling, have, have fun and be careful, please. I love you too. Close that door. Sorry about that. <laughs> My kids are here. So anyway, um, yeah, so sorry. But, you know, they come first, right? Anyway, um, I feel like you're just tired of being, you know, the person on the side. You're tired of um, waiting for this person, right? For what seems to take forever. Um, and they have no time left. They're just, they ran out of time. To, and you're not waiting anymore. I, I feel like you're discarding this. You're throwing the situation out. Um, I'm hearing basura, right? You're throwing it out. Um, you want you want your happiness. Feel like you just want to be happy. Also, with this, I'm I'm kind of getting the sense that this person has really shown you their true character. Um, yeah, you're seeing everything for what it really is here, and you're done being treated like um, like you're nothing. Okay, you're done with it. You're done waiting for this person to get their act together. Sure, they can put on a suit and everything and look great, but you know what? They can't come towards you with an apology. So, yeah, I feel like you guys are fed up. Um, you're turning your back on this person, but like I said, there's, they're pulling on your energy, and I feel like you can feel it. You can feel that this masculine really doesn't want you to go anywhere. But you're also seeing the light. If this person doesn't have the strength or the guts to come towards you and make things right, you're pretty much checking their character here. Okay, they may be pulling on your energy, but they still haven't made anything right with you. They still haven't done the right thing. Um, I feel like this person is in love with you. I feel like they... Um, uh, they have a lot of passion for you, okay? Lusting. But you've had enough of this. You're in Empress energy right now. And the reason why I'm saying that is because you've been, you've been working really hard. You could be a boss, business owner here, or leveling up in your life, right? You've got this new beginning with this giant button on your vest here. And you've got all of these pentacles that you've been growing. Um, so I feel like... Uh, you don't really need anyone in the energy that you're in. You're extremely independent. You're high vibing and happy just doing you. And really the only thing that's holding you back that's making you feel in a negative way is this connection. Because this person, um, they're not coming forward. 
They don't, they don't, they haven't gotten their courage up. They can pull on your energy all day. They can sit here and desire you and lust after you and love you. But if they're not going to take any action to, towards you, they're going to lose you. You're done with this situation. Okay? Silence. See? Silence. No action. You know they've been wanting to talk to you for a long time, but they still take no action. And you're not going to wait around for them. You know your worth. You know your worth. They definitely don't want you to get away. Um, you know, they, they are definitely thinking about you, fantasizing, lusting for you. I feel like this person loves you too. But you know what? None of it, none of it is going to come to anything if they don't take some action. And this person, if it's going to take them days, weeks, or months to get to you, if they love you, this person would come forward. Okay? And you shouldn't have to keep waiting for this person to get the guts to come towards you. So you're ending this. I see you guys um, tossing this out. This connection is, you're tossing it out. Um, and you're focused now. You're turning your attention on, on things that are going to make you happy in the future. You know, I feel like this person, um, they've been doing whatever they've wanted to do um, in the background. All you've been doing is working and putting in the effort for yourself and building your life up. You're ready to leave this energy collective. You are. And you know what? No self-respecting divine feminine or anyone is going to be kept waiting. Okay? No self-respecting person is going to be kept waiting days, weeks, months just to hear from somebody who, who claims to love them. That's the feeling that I'm getting. So if you're not getting any kind of action, if you're not um, hearing from this person, then they get to go. And that's, that's the feeling that I'm getting off of this, um, off of this reading, this energy. What else can you show me here? For the, It's really strong. Divine Feminines, I'm telling you, almost every reading I'm getting, I'm getting today, um, and actually for the last week or so, you guys are really standing up. You're standing up. You're saying, no more of this crap. I'm, I'm so worthy of love, and I know my worth, and I know my value, and I am not here on this earth to just wait around for somebody to get their act together. So you're leaving the scene. And this person, they don't want you to go. But it's kind of like a well, that's too bad kind of situation. That's the feeling that I'm getting off of you. You don't want to show me any action. You're still not talking to me. You're being tossed out. Then you will be discarded. For real. You are not waiting for this person, whether they're single or not you know you're seeing the sign synchronicities that this person wants to come back around i'm seeing this infinity sign right you could be seeing a lot of re repetitive numbers 11 11 2 2 2 3 3 3 right 4 4 4 um you're you're getting the signs that they want to come back around but you don't i feel like you're you're done waiting their, their non-action costs them a divine feminine. I feel like um, there's a karmic out here. These two are split up, I feel. They want some revenge. Um, but, you know, what? tough. You're leaving the scene. I feel like you just don't care. I, I got to say, that's the feeling that I'm getting. Like, oh, you want, your, you want revenge? Well, bye. You know? Like, yeah, you're clearing this energy out. Some of you um, should start burning your sage, right? Protecting yourself. Um, whatever you do that cleanses your energy, okay? Because this karmic could be sending you some really bad juju right now. I do feel like um, they're separated from your person. I feel like your person now is trying to contact you telepathically. 
that's not working anymore. It doesn't work for you. And communication works both ways. It doesn't work for you. You know, if they're not actually going to take some kind of physical action towards you, you're discarding this connection. Okay? Clearing out the energy. This person, this karmic can hate on you all they want. This masculine can sit and make you wait all they want. You're leaving the scene. You're moving forward. Yep. I mean, I you your energy is coming in so strong, Divine Feminine. You are just so done with this. I can't even, I can't stress it enough. You are just so done. Yeah, and you're protected. This karmic wants revenge. They want payback. But I feel like you're being protected because you're ascending. You're using your intuition and you're following the path that the divine wants for you. Um, and you're moving on. So, you know what? And you've done nothing wrong to these people. I, I feel like what was done to you was extremely unfair. And the fact that um, you were made to wait and wait and wait and wait for some kind somebody to stand up and do something fair. And you still haven't gotten it. Yeah, you're being led out of here. And you know what? Anybody sending you bad juju, anybody putting anything on your name, you know what? The divine is protecting you from that because it's it's become ridiculous. It really has. So you're moving on. You're following a spiritual path. Um, you've already ascended, okay? You know your worth, and you're just you're holding up your hand like enough is enough. I feel like everybody's watching you, right? I feel like the karmic here is watching to make sure that you leave the scene. Um, I don't feel like you care if they're watching you or not at this point. You know, none of their energy is getting to you. I feel like they want they want to see, though, for sure, whether this masculine comes towards you or whether you're leaving, right? Because this, this karmic wants you out of the picture anyway. Um, yeah, I feel like... Um, I feel like they know that your person wants a new beginning in love with you here. They're also going through, there is this, so this karmic is focused on you, right? To see if new love is coming in, if you're moving away, if your person is coming towards you. But they're also focused on money. I feel like there's definitely a divorce here going on. And this karmic is, is uh, upset. They're worried about finances. They may be... Um, your person may be just like closing up a divorce or something and they, they have to shell out a bunch of money for child support or alimony. You don't care. It's not your problem. Once again, you've got your back turned here. You don't care. Completion, lesson learned. You're done. You're done. You know, if this is this could take a while, if it's a court case, you're done. You are not, you are no longer waiting like another second for this person, for whoever it is that I'm talking to. Um, I feel like it's causing a lot of waves of emotion within your person because they know that you're moving forward. Um, they may not know how to reach out to you, um, but they want to come towards you here. They want to talk. They're very dreamy about you. Um, they're trying to connect with you telepathically and they can't. Um, the, yeah, this person is going through waves of emotion, sadness, um, frustration, anger, uh, all of it, right? It's just anxiety. They're going through it all because you're leaving the scene. You're leaving the scene. You're done. You don't want any part of the waiting anymore for this person. They don't have any right to keep another human being stuck in their head and waiting for them. You know? So, yeah, you're leaving the scene and there's not a whole lot they can do. Um, I feel like they could be worried that this karmic is going to retaliate. Uh, but, you know, they're, they're still 
going through some kind of legal case with this karmic. So they're still kind of attached here. But this masculine is on the verge of coming towards you. Okay, I feel like they they are on the verge, but you're I feel like you're saying verge is not good enough. Verge is not good enough at this point. You are seriously, you are so done with waiting for this person. Um, they may just pop up on you here, so expect something unexpected to happen. Somebody's wishing for you, hoping, praying, yearning for you. Well, then they should do something about it. Then they should do something about it. Because I'm telling you, the telepathic communication ain't working anymore. It's not working anymore. And this masculine, they know it. They're like, well, what do I do now if I can't telepathically communicate and send it? No. Well, what they need to do is come forward and have a conversation with you. That's what they need to do. But this person couldn't even boss up enough to do that. And if they're going to keep on making you wait and wait and wait, it's just not good enough anymore. You're not waiting anymore for this person. Okay, you guys are coming in so strong. So now I feel like the runner is turning into the chaser here. Because they just can't seem to let you go. They can't let you go. And, I mean, I feel like you're even saying, that's too bad for you. It's not my problem anymore. It's not my problem anymore, says the Divine Feminine. Um, I mean, kudos to you, man. I, I feel like, um, yeah, you're doing the right thing for yourself, Divine Feminine. You're moving on to brighter things, better days, you know. Things that are coming towards you in the future, you, you're, you don't want to be stagnant anymore, soulmate or not. You don't want to be stagnant anymore. And I, I feel like, too, with this card coming out, I feel like you could be meeting a new soulmate here soon once you close the door on the past, right? Because you can't bring any past issues with you into a new connection. But um, I feel like you're already, I, you're the strongest one in all of this. You are. You were hurt the most only to become the strongest one. And you're leaving this, this masculine energy in your dust. Yeah, I feel like there's a karmic out here who's just watching you like a hawk, waiting for this masculine to come and chase after you, okay? They're just watching you, so you're being stalked, just so you know. Whatever you're putting out there, they're, they're on top of it. Uh, you know, I feel like the feminine energies in this case is way stronger than this masculine is. This masculine is not doing anything but trying to telepathically communicate with you. Okay? Uh, you're making bold moves. This karmic is even doing more behind the scenes than this masculine is. You know, they're watching closely over the situation. They're looking up info, records. that They're doing more than your person is. All your person is doing is, is fantasizing about you. That's it. I'll tell you what, man. It's like... It's annoying energy, okay? And here you are leaving the scene. Some of you could be making a house move. You're just, you're wanting to get out of this energy and you still have somebody like right up on your heels. And you haven't even done anything to these people. It could be pulling on your energy, right? Like making you tired making you feel exhausted, drained. Yeah, I feel like your person feels lost because you're you're cutting them off now. They're feeling like they've been ghosted. How does that how does that work? They feel like they've been ghosted and blocked from you, but they did it to you for an undetermined amount of time. They're still doing it, yet they're the ones who are feeling upset because you're leaving the scene. 
I don't know how that works. You know, and you're like, let them. I heard let them. Whoever said that, that's what I heard. Let them. Let them feel that way. There could be kids involved here. Yeah, they're going through some kind of divorce. There's a divorce going on here. It says divorce final, but I feel like it's still going on. This karmic is fighting to get some kind of alimony or child support. Your person's still keeping their feelings for you hidden like you're a dirty little secret. Um, yeah, you've had enough. It's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. You're done. And there, there, um, yeah, there's that in anxiety I was telling you about. Um, their um, telepathic communication, it's not, it's not working anymore. It's not working anymore. Yeah, this karmic individual, they've been living beyond their means. They're going to try to get as much money as they can out of your person. Meanwhile, your person is having a, a lot of anxiety over the situation, doing nothing but fantasizing about you, wanting and desiring you, lusting for you, trying to get a grip, trying to remain grounded and stable in the situation, okay? It says weighed down. I really just feel like they're trying to get their stability. Um... But yeah, they have to, you know what, this fantasizing about you, pulling on your energy, telepathic communication, you know, if this person doesn't have the guts to come and face you, you're gone. That's the feeling that I'm getting. If they don't have the guts to come and face you, you are gone. That's literally what I'm getting here. All right, so what is your advice? What advice can you give the collective today, Divine? Yeah, this is a cycle that's coming to an end. Divine Feminines, all over, we know our worth. We know our value. And we're not, we're not going to wait around for people that don't have courage anymore. It is what it is, you know? And yeah, this person has made progress. I will... I will give them that. They've made progress. They put on a suit and a fancy watch, right? They're single now. They're looking all kinds of great. They're going through a divorce. They're going to lose some money, you know. But other than that, they've made, they've made no effort to come towards you and do the right thing and the fair and just thing. They've made no effort. So, you know, you're done. All right, so what advice do you, thank you, peace. Yeah, this person wants to come and make you some kind, they want to bring you an olive branch here. They want to make peace with you. Hopefully, if they come and, and extend an olive branch, it'll change things, it'll keep you where you are. I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to keep you where you are. You're not going to be a part of this. You're not. You're not going to be a part of a karmic situation. You're not going to get involved when this person is still going through a divorce. You, you've waited too long. If they can't approach you the right way, then you're leaving the scene. Yeah, it's time to take a nap. I feel like you guys are just exhausted. I also feel like you're getting downloads through your sleep right now it's help it's that's to help you lead you where you're supposed to be going okay because you're clearly veering off and and going in a new direction now so i feel like the divine is trying to lead you so you're getting downloads in your sleep sleep time is really important for you right now okay collective i need to take my own advice on that by the way i need to i need to take a nap <laughs> I would love that, actually. Yeah, it's going to help you um, to regain your focus, too, and know exactly where you're going in the future. 
Yeah, I feel like um, get your rest because things are about to pop for you here in a good way. In a good way. Your life is about to get so much better as you free yourself from this mess. Because it really is just a mess now at this point. And you, it's not your mess. It's not your mess. So you're leaving. You're leaving it behind. A change in the wind. There's about to be a big change. There's a change brewing for you already. Um, I feel like all of the old stuff, all of the burdens that were on your back, it's all being stripped away in layers as you walk away. So this new thing can come in because it's waiting here to come into your life. Give me one more for the collective. Give me one more for the collective, please. Yeah. The here and now. See, you're, it, you're kind of hovering here for a while. This is you waiting for a long, long time. Um, between the past and the future, but now you know, you have this deep knowing that it's time to move forward into your future. No more hovering, no more waiting. All of this is about to change with another five. Yeah, so you're moving on because you know this is going to take your person a while. You can't really see it, but there is a projected time in, on this, days, weeks, or months. And you don't want to wait another minute to start your new life. You don't want to wait another minute hoping for somebody to even acknowledge that you exist at this point. For real, for real. You're done, honey. And your whole life now, I feel like it's about to change. It's about to change, Divine Feminine. So get ready. Anyway, you guys, um, I don't know who this is for, but I can feel that really strong energy coming off the Divine Feminines. Divine Feminines everywhere have had enough. If these masculines haven't got their act together yet, they're about to lose the best thing that ever happened to them. Anyway, if you guys like this video, please click that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you dig this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.